We're studying from Chapter 5, The Techniques for Winning Quickly, from the book E.S. Lowe's Chess in 30 Minutes. Both sides have started the game on approved lines. Now white varies from the first two games. We are about to study Game 3, Juaco Piano. Stay tuned in just a few minutes and enjoy! This podcast episode is brought to you by Try free apps, complete surveys, and shop online to earn amazing rewards with feature points. Use this link and you'll get a bonus of 50 points to redeem on Google Play, Xbox, PayPal Cash, App Store gift cards, and more. Feature points. Get rewarded. Hi, this is Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis speaking. I'm saving my points for a $50 Canadian Amazon.ca gift card valued at 22,500 points. Presently, I have 2,672 points. I require 19,800 hundred and twenty eight more points to achieve this goal. Get fifty points for using this link https colon forward slash forward slash F E A T U dot R E forward slash V G O referral code V G O Hello, this is Jeremy speaking. Welcome to Video Gamers Oasis on YouTube and welcome to my ongoing, almost over, mini podcast. It's a instructional podcast where I'm reading the book uh, E.S. Lowe's Chess in 30 Minutes. We're on the final chapter of the book, chapter 5, The Techniques for Winning Quickly. Our previous uh, subheading, we were studying game number 2. We were studying about the Three Knights game. Now we're on to pages 76 to 79. Game number three, Juoco, Juoco Piano. I've got to be careful how I would pronounce that. This is episode 22 of our mini-series. So we're going to learn about this technique that is uh, very complicated. There's actually three different diagrams we're going to need to study. So I hope you got your notepad, your pen, ready to uh, write down some important notes for your next chess game. Make sure to send some likes, send some love. Thank you so much for subscribing to Video Gamers Oasis and clicking the notification bell. On to the show. Now, before we begin our third subheading in our final chapter of the book ES Lowe's Chess in 30 Minutes, learning to win the game of chess quickly, we're going to learn how to pronounce this technique. I want to get it correctly. Chuoko is how it's said, okay? So you have a ju sound, but quite a short oo sound juo ju and then o juo juo juoco all in the same syllable juoco piano is how the italians would say it juoco piano juoco piano ju oco piano that's an italian word so the big shout out to the youtube channel julian michel on youtube and the video is called How to Pronounce Gioco Piano, brackets chess opening. I, I'm part Italian and I should know better Italian, but I need to brush up on my pronunciation. But there you have it, folks. That is the pronunciation for this word. Now on to subheading number three on page 76, game three, Gioco Piano. Underneath that subheading, it reads white, 1-P-K4, and black, P-K4. 2, 
N-KB3 and N-QB3. Both sides have started the game on approved lines. Now white varies from the first two games. 3. B-B4 Dot, dot, dot. An excellent development of the bishop. At this square, it aims at black's king bishop, two square, which is the most vulnerable point in black's game. It often happens, especially in games between inexperienced players, that this square, right next to black's king, can be stormed by a concentrated attack of white's pieces. Brackets. Remember the checkmate position in diagram 37? End brackets. 3 dot 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 B dash B4. Likewise, an excellent developing move. Now both sides are ready to castle and thus get their kings into safety. White would like to play N dash N5, attacking black's king bishop pawn a second time. However, to play the knight to knight 5 right now would be a silly blunder. Black would merely reply 4 dot 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 Q X N, winning a piece. Moving on to page 77. 4 P dash Q3 and dot dot dot. White opens up diagonal for his queen bishop. Thus, he will be able to develop that piece and he can also guard the knight if it goes to knight 5. Here we have the diagram. Diagram 60. Brackets black to move. Black plays his knight. Black plays his king knight to the wrong square. Four dot 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 and k n dash k two question mark. Although this move has the virtue of developing a piece, it is a poor move. The right way to play the knight, for reasons that will soon become clear, is four dot 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 n dash b three exclamation point five n dash n five. White goes ahead with his plan. He attacks black's king, bishop, pawn twice, while the pawn is defended only once. Black needs an extra defense for his king, bishop, pawn. The most obvious way to obtain that defense is to castle, enabling the king, rook, to defend the king, bishop, pawn. So black castles five dot 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 castles now that black has castled his king bishop pawn is attacked twice and defended twice yet black is headed for trouble had he played four dot 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 n dash b3 exclamation point it would be impossible for white to next page on page 78 page 78 strengthen the attack at this point with 6 q dash r5 brackets the knight at king bishop 3 is one of the most effective defensive pieces on the board and above we have diagram 61 brackets white to move black's defense fails because he has played dot 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 kn dash k2 instead of dot 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 n dash b3 moving on to the rest of the paragraph 6 q dash r5 exclamation point taking full advantage of black's faulty 4 dot 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 kn dash k2 question mark white's queen move attacks black's king bishop pawn a third time and also threatens 7 qx rp mate now you can fully appreciate the havoc caused by black's failure to play his knight to king bishop three 
six dot 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 p dash k r three, the only move to stop checkmate. Seven, n x p and dot dot dot. If now seven dot 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 r x n white replies eight q x r c h remaining with a rook and pawn for a knight, a sizable advantage, immaterial. Black tries a different way, and loses even more rapidly. Seven dot 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 and q dash k one question mark. This allows white to win black's queen by eight n dash q six dis c h dis space c h dot eight n x p space d b l space c h space exclamation point dot 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 white refuses the queen he has something even better that quote unquote something must be checkmate checkmate moving on to page 79 8 dot 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 k dash r2 remember that the only possible reply to a double check is to move your king 9 n dash b7 space dis space ch and k dash n1 10 q dash r8 space mate why is this checkmate we have diagram 62 brackets final position black has been punished for his faulty knight move next paragraph the position of diagram 62 is checkmate because white's queen is guarded by his advanced knight which in turn is guarded by his bishop at queen bishop four the important lesson to be learned from this instructive game is that the absence of the valuable protective knight from the square king bishop three can lead to very serious trouble brief review of our lesson today with the 3d chess game available on microsoft we have a series of three different diagrams this time for a giaco piano first diagram is diagram 60. the introduction reads for this diagram White opens up the diagonal for his queen bishop. Thus, he will be able to develop that piece and can also guard the knight if it goes to knight 5. Diagram 60. Brackets. Black to move. Black plays his king knight to the wrong square. And for those who are just listening to this podcast, here are the coordinates. For this chessboard diagram 60 for the white side uh, a1 rook b1 knight c1 bishop d1 white queen e1 white king h1 white rook two uh, h2 g2 and f2 white pawns and f3 is the white knight E4 is the white pawn, D3 white pawn, C4 white bishop. On the black side, we have the white bishop facing the black bishop on section C5. A, a black pawn facing a white pawn on section E5. Black knight, section C, C6. Uh, white, uh, black pawns on section A7, B7, C7, D7, and F7, as well as G7 and H7, all black pawns. And in the final row, A8, black rook, C8, black bishop, D8, black queen, E8, black king, G8, black 
knight and h8 black rook next we have diagram 61 brackets white to move black's defense fails because he has played dot 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 kn dash k2 instead of dot 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 n dash b3 dot so we have the uh, coordinates for the white pieces a1 rook b1 knight c1 bishop d1 uh, white queen e1 white king h1 white rook a2 uh, b2 c2 all white pawns f2 g2 and h2 white pawns f3 white knight uh, e4 white pawn d3 white pawn and c4 white bishop on the black side we have c5 black bishop we have e5 black pawn c6 black knight all the black pawns are on a7 b7 c7 d7 e <clears throat> e7 pardon me is a black knight and we have three more black pawns after the black knight we have f7 g7 and h7 black rook is on section a8 black uh, bishop on section c8 black queen on section d8 and another a black rook on section f8 castling with the black king on section g8 finally we have diagram 62 the question remains why is this checkmate diagram 62 brackets final position black has been punished for his faulty knight move the position of diagram 62 is checkmate because white's queen is guarded by his advanced knight which in turn is guarded by his bishop at queen bishop four the important lesson to be learned from this instructive game is that the absence of the valuable protective knight from this square king bishop three can lead to very serious trouble let's look at the coordinates for the chessboard for diagram 62 a1 rook white rook on the white side b1 white knight c1 white bishop e1 white king h1 white rook the white pawns on section a2 b2 c2 and d3 and uh, three more white pawns uh, four more white pawns on section e4 f2 g2 and h2 facing the white bishop is the black bishop on section c5 and the black pawn facing the white pawn in section e5 next we have the white or next we have the on the black side we have the black knight on section c6 uh, we have a7 b7 c7 and d7 as black pawns section e7 black knight and a, on the, a white piece a white knight on section f7 g7 black pawn and a white queen on section h8 next to the white queen is a black king on section g8 black rook on section f8 black queen on section e8 black bishop on section c8 and black rook on section a8 this concludes the reading of the subheading game three juoco piano Tune in next episode. We are going to study page 79, 
subheading Game 4, Ponziani opening. And again, I'm going to check the pronunciation next episode just to make sure I get it correct. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis, and you've been watching this podcast, mini-series, ES Lowe's Chess in 30 Minutes, uh, reading, uh, study and practical application.